why are you so worried to tell Albertans why you were using Ministry of Infrastructure resources in the sixth day of your employment to go to a divorce trial with your old boss? About a month ago, I published a story on Darren Billis. He's a high-ranking NDP cabinet minister for the Notley government, and he's going through some tough times. He's getting a divorce. It's a bitter divorce, and it's unfortunate. Affidavits are flying every which way, and I got my hands on a few of them, and I was interested to read the ones filed by his wife, which allege Darren Billis has a serious drug and alcohol addiction. It alleges he stepped out of the marriage a few times, uh, and those times lined up with the NDP sexual misconduct cover-up last year, which was interesting. The mainstream media didn't report on that, of course, because they're in the pockets of the socialist government. What it also alleged was that Heather Mack, the chief of staff to the Minister of Infrastructure, Sandra Jansen, appeared in court with Darren Billis. It made no sense. Why would the Minister of Infrastructure, who just hired a new chief of staff, she'd been working for her for six days, appear in court, in divorce court for Darren Billis? Do, did they think uh, that these allegations of uh, drug and alcohol abuse were serious? Was she doing damage control? Was she there to assist Minister Billis, it's not clear, so I thought I would ask her some questions. And the stars lined up perfectly because I just got back from a government announcement. The federal liberals were here in Calgary along with Sandra Jansen and Mayor Nahid Nenshi to announce uh, some funding for a new arena, a new complex in the downtown area. And here's it, it was hilarious what happened. Here's what Sandra Jansen said at the end of her speech. I want to say that it has been amazing to work through our Investing in Canada infrastructure uh, program with Minister Champagne and his staff. And I, and I want to say this because the staff are sometimes uh, don't get the recognition they need. And I want to take a moment. Can my staff put their hands up? Heather Mack, my chief of staff. Eight phone calls a day sometimes talking to Minister Champagne's office. And Minister Champagne, can your staff put their hands up? There they are. And, and honestly, uh, uh, an effort like this takes a lot of back and forth. Eight, nine phone calls a day, sometimes every day, to make this happen. Well, I couldn't let an opportunity like this pass me by. <laughs> Heather Mack appeared, and uh, now was my chance. So I asked her some questions. I asked her why she appeared in court using Ministry of Infrastructure resources to cover some obscure divorce case. Heather, can you tell me what interest the Ministry of Infrastructure has on Darren Billis's alleged drug and alcohol addiction? You should send any media requests through to my email. You have my address. I would just like to know why you appeared in court for him. Or with him. Can you answer my questions? No. Albertans would like to know why Ministry of Infrastructure resources were... I don't think Albertans watch you. Sorry? Sir, she answered your question. I answered your question. You don't yeah. touch me. Don't touch me. Yeah. She answered your question. Excuse me. I, it's a completely reasonable thing to be asking you questions. Why? Why are you so hard? To, why, why are you so worried to tell Albertans why you were using Ministry of Infrastructure resources in the sixth day of your employment to go to a divorce trial with your old boss? Heather Mack is a six-figure salaried public servant. She has an obligation to respond to questions from the media, especially when she's so personally involved in a scandal like this. And the question still stands because she didn't answer it just insulted my employer, which I just take in stride these days. Socialist politicians and their staff tend to do that when they are faced with tough questions from the rebel. I was going to ask these questions, why Heather Mack on the sixth day of her employment at the Ministry of Infrastructure, did she appear in divorce court with Darren Billis? Is so little going on? Was her appointment as chief of staff just a patronage thing in the dying days of the NDP government? I don't know. These are all honest questions, and I was going to pose them to the minister herself, Sandra Jansen, but she fled the scene. She was supposed to have a media availability with her federal counterpart, as well as the lone liberal MP in Calgary, but she was notably absent. For the Rebel.media, this is Kian Baxter. Not a single media outlet besides the Rebel thought the drug allegations against a high-ranking NDP cabinet minister were worth reporting on, which is why I think you should subscribe to The Rebel. You can get a premium subscription. We're the only ones telling the other side of the story, stories like this that the mainstream media wants to cover up.